Hey guys, Adam from Equipped Indoor. Well, today we're going to do a video on friction fire, specifically the old bow drill method or bow drill technique. Uh, here we have our bow. It's just a piece of 550 cord right here. Got it pretty taut. Um, and then we're going to go, that's the, our first part. We got our fireboard or hearthboard, whatever you want to call that. Our spindle. And of course, our socket. So, we're going to make a new one. This is actually a, an older set of fireboard and spindles. And as you can see, they've gotten some love and they're barely, at one point they were this long. <laughs> so, they've gotten some use and we're going to make a new spindle real quick. Uh, we're going to use probably this part of the board. I'm just going to baton this real quick. And you guys can follow along. Got my... Now the part that's going to go on the socket, we want more pointed, and we want the part that's going to go into the hearthboard or the fireboard a little bit more blunt. But don't worry, it'll get its dome shape naturally. We don't have to worry about intricately carving that one. And we got our socket. So the first thing we're going to do is talk about your form. You want to make sure your, your strong leg, knees on the ground, your support leg, you come in here making a good 90 degree angle. All right, so you can wrap that arm around and securely hold that spindle. Your bow should be nice and tight to where it's almost a challenge to get the, the drill through here, but at the same time, it's not so loose that you're getting a lot of slippage when you're moving around. So we're going to take our, our drill, our uh, spindle, with the, the hot end going up. Oh, I forgot one thing. On this side, I'm going to get that a little bit of nose grease. Fitting the, uh, right there, so we're not going to cause a fire on that side. Okay, so holding our bow with our strong, with our strong hand, put it so the, the spindle end that's going in the socket is up. Then when we spin around, spin around it'll be down and the spin will be outside the bow. That's very important. Alright. So let's get started. Alright guys, here we go. I think we'll be good to go. We don't want to be too far in the center because then we'll start to get a nipple on our spindle like that one. We don't want it that way. Or like this. We want it nice and blunt, kind of like that, like a dome shape. All right, so here we go. We had a breakage on our one hearth port, so went ahead and uh, knocked out another one real quick. We're going to give this one a try and see how we do.
All right, fellas, I think we got something here. So leave my spindle in there to uh, insulate the heat, but it's obvious we got something going on good. Right. Look at this, my socket's smoking too. <laughs> Woo. All right, I got a good cherry coming in there. I'll take some of this extra charcoal, put it around there, just to give it some more uh, fuel. Doesn't really need it. Got flame. Hey guys, that's me, Mitchie. Guys, hope that helped you out. Get the fire started. Unfortunately, last night it did rain, so all my stuff got wet, so it made it a little bit more difficult than normal. But uh, dry firewood is uh, <laughs> nothing compared to it. But hey guys, this is Adam from Equipped and Door. If you guys have any questions or comments, please email me at adam at equippedandoor.com. You guys take care. Be safe out there. Remember, you're not always prepared. You're never prepared. Thanks.